can there be multi agent reinforcement learning as well and are there real time real life uh, applications for multi agent reinforcement learning yes absolutely and i think that those are some of the most fascinating systems actually um you know it's a bit related to my ted talk because we're entering here in in the, in the field of uh, collective intelligence in broad strokes we can distinguish between adversarial and cooperative multi-agent systems. For learning to play games against ever more powerful opponents, for example, adversarial multi-agent reinforcement learning has proved incredibly effective. And this sort of learning is clearly also relevant to cybersecurity, for example. But less obviously, it is also relevant for imitating works of art and for generating image imagined photo photographs. It's really interesting. <clears throat> But then my favorite one is cooperative agents. Um, and they, on the other hand, uh, if they're installed on construction drones, for example, could work together to construct new office buildings entirely autonomously. Multi-robot factories will cooperatively optimize entire production processes. Autonomous ve vehicles can work together to optimize traffic flow. Uh, most interestingly, I think, cooperative multi-agent systems might foster cooperation in human collectives to better solve complex problems. DeepMind has a program where they work on this problem, and, and, and so does the Alan Turing Institute. Think about global challenges that are in part challenges for more cooperative competence. These include pandemic preparedness, uh, preservation of biodiversity, economic development, reduction of ongoing risks from war, and so on. All of these could be helped by, by multi-agent cooperative agents. And among, among cooperative agent systems, the agents may be con uh, communicating or they might not be communicating. These are two types of systems. A further distinction can be made uh, uh, is in team learning and concurrent learning. I think the more interesting one is concurrent learning because each agent learns on its own to modify its behavior as before. And this is the more truly multi-agent system because team learning is really that it really only has one learner that centrally learns how every agent should behave. However, the, the team learning approach can get around some of the harder parts of making the, um, you know, the concurrent learning systems work because there are some issues with them. Um, but the games that we, there are some really strange behavior that sometimes arises. The games that we have explored so far, you know, chess and go are all two player games where players are playing against each other with no possibility of cooperation. With a larger number of agents, things get both completely intractable, intractable mathematically if you want to solve for some equilibrium, for example, as economists often do, want to do, but they also get more interesting in terms of the possibilities that such a system might have. This opens up the possibility of cooperation between agents such as you would have in robotic soccer, for example. In practice, these systems exhibit unexpected dynamics between cooperating agent and non-stationary environments, and they have other complex issues that prevent them from being rolled out uh, and must as of yet, but they hold enormous promise.